What's up everybody, Roderick here, and Roxy's going nuts. Will you calm down? I finally got something I've been wanting forever, a mini fridge. And as you can see, the cats already began the unboxing process for me, so this shouldn't be too complicated as long as this dog will stay under control. By the way, it's not just a regular boring mini fridge, it's a retro mini fridge, so it's gonna look pretty awesome. Look at this thing busted open. All right, looks like they got it packed in pretty well. Oh, this is like the thickest styrofoam I've ever seen. How'd I get this out? That's a little weird. The bottom of the box just fell off. I'm surprised they made it here together intact. How did it not fall apart during shipment? We guys can take a look at the bottom and the back. That's weird, there's no back for it. It's so confusing. What's going on here? Like the back's just completely exposed. There's no back of the refrigerator. Right, we do have a user guide included, so that's cool. That's weird, maybe I'm crazy, but I didn't expect this to just be there. All right, so it feels really good. Nice and smooth, nice and glossy, nice and cold to the touch. Got styrofoam sticking to it. It's looking real nice. Let's turn it to the front. Looks like it cost about $29 a year to run this thing, so that's not bad at all. And there we go, we got it open. It looks like it needs to be suspended off the floor a bit, otherwise it gets stuck on the carpet. But what's weird is I expected the door to open this way, but it's opening this way. Oh, that new refrigerator smell. <laughs> up here we have the freezer area, so you can put some ice cream bars, I guess. You can't really put a pint up there, and it looks like that's as big as it's gonna get. We also have this cover here. Let's get it pumped into place. Here we go, nice freezer up here, look at that. Over here on the right side, we do have a temperature gauge going all the way from one, all the way up to, wow, all the way up to seven. We'll just leave it back at four where it was. Looks like we got a little light here. We got some trays. I'm not sure why everything's not set up already. I guess I have to assemble it. Get rid of all this tape. And then in the door, we also have some compartments. It looks like they're big enough to hold cans of soda or, you know, whatever you want to fit in there, some string cheese. And down here, we have a bigger compartment to put some bigger things. Got the refrigerator powered on, got some nice LED lighting. No lighting in the freezer unit. We got that sound going, so it is getting cool now. Now we're gonna answer the age old question. When you close the refrigerator door, does the little light stay on? It does not. All right, I got some stuff loaded up in here, up in the top in the freezer. Got some ice cream bars staying nice and cold. Whoa, that is really cold to touch. That's crazy. This thing has only been off for about 10 minutes. It's already freezing in there. And then we got some Lunchables here, just in case I want a midnight snack. You can fit a whole gallon of milk standing up right here. That's great. All you have to do is put this one all the way up here at the top. But this right here, you have to lay it down. It's too tall for it to stand up in here. Unless you remove this and you don't need this, but then you're not really gonna have room for anything else. Down here I have some avocados in the tray, which doesn't really attach to anything, it just sits down here. And if you have this little glass pane right here, it pretty much encloses it in there, so that's all right. Then over in the door I got some orange juice along with some sunflower butter. We got a full-size can right here. The taller cans don't fit in there. And then we have some mustard laying down as well. You could probably put the mustard down here if you really wanted to and then it could stand up, but this is what I'm doing right now just for demonstration purposes. So if you have a bunch of energy drinks, you're gonna have to lay them down and I guess you won't be able to have that many unless you put them all down here or just throw them in here somewhere. So it's easy to work with this depending on what you got. You just gotta treat it like a jigsaw puzzle and figure out how to get everything to fit. And even though that water is hanging over the edge a little bit, if we close it, it closes perfectly fine. Overall, it's looking like a really cool refrigerator. If you wanna pick one up, link down below in the description. Make sure you guys comment your thoughts down below. Let me know if it's normal that the back's open like that because that seems kind of weird and it seems like a bit of a hazard. You agree with me? All right, cool. Thumbs up, red subscribe button, social media. I'll see you in the next one.